tell people to go to a public place that they can go to yeah. anyways, and people came. And like, probably like 50 people came. Yeah. It was so cool to have 50 people show up where we actually mm -hmm. had to chill with them and like, sh you know, share with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it can really be as easy as a coffee shop meetup. Yeah. Right. Or a bar meetup. It mm -hmm. doesn't have to be a difficult thing. Yeah, it's fun to get to know your audience. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's our whole little presentation. And yeah. we, and, oh God, we're so good. And we have like six <laughs> minutes. So, <laughs> you guys have any I think questions? Should, yes, yeah. please. I was like, what are they going to let down? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, as far as the tools that you actually do the podcast with, mm. yes. speaking, what is that? So we actually have a studio. We're very blessed that my okay. cousin, my cousin's an engineer and he uh, is very nominated and he is uh, good at what he does. But so I would recommend finding, I would, I would recommend either getting the microphones yourself offline and I can't give you a big rundown, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of Googling and, yeah, you know, that kind of thing. Do programs, though, to record it? Um, Pro Tools is an option. Okay. Um, Audacity. Audacity is an option. And Audacity is free, thank you. And then there's one other one that I can't think of that's not free. GarageBand. GarageBand is free, though. What's it? Audition. Nope. It's Audition. Audition is the other one I'm thinking. So Audition and Pro Tools are not. Audacity and GarageBand comes free if you have, like, an Apple product, I mean, Apple programming. And um, sadly, we're not engineers, but I would try to like, I would get on that. I would try to find an engineer near you and pay them their hourly rate to teach you how to do what, what they do. Mm -hmm. Because it is the easiest thing in the world to sit down with somebody and learn something and take notes. And it is so much of a different story when you get on YouTube and you're watching videos and their, your screen is their screen and you can't see their screen because they're on their screen. Like mm -hmm. you're just like, can I ask you a question? And this person's still talking. Right. Um, so, you know, find an engineer and just pay him. Ain't no harm in that. And honestly, if you, I can't imagine going to more than three sessions and not knowing how to do it. Cool. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you for asking that. Yes. Uh, Sir. So, what do you guys think about live streaming, uh, like your podcast and have audience interaction? Yeah. We're currently yeah. right live streaming right now. <laughs> Hi. Uh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And we, um, we have a YouTube channel. We just, start, we just started our YouTube channel this summer. And so we're really growing into that right now. I think that would be great to get to that. We are, um, we know that as our show is growing, we need to get more of a team to kind of be able to handle all of those lows, or we need to quit our jobs. And so that is, we, I don't, I mean, we live in Seattle. Right. Yeah. Um, so we're doing it all kind of baby step. But I love what you're saying because that's a really great idea. I think it's valuable to do. People look. People are into so many different things. You know, there are people who are in, who follow us on all of our social media accounts who do not ever listen to our show. Right. There are people who listen to our show and have no idea of our events that we put on. Mm -hmm. And then I know tons of people who would much rather watch a YouTube video of us than have us uh, in their ears. You know. So we're trying to get everywhere and trying to learn it all at the same time. But if, you're, but if you're good at that, go for it. Mm -hmm. Really, what it boils down. Quick second question: What's your favorite NPR show? Mo, well, my favorite NPR show. I love Wait Wait Don't Tell Me. Yeah. I really <laughs> yeah. do. I love it when I'm good at it and I win the game, and I love it when I fail at it and I learn that I did not listen to any news this week and I, the world could have fallen down around me and I wouldn't even know. It's a funny show. For it's sure. such a good show. Yeah. Oh, thank you for asking that. Yeah, yeah go for it. So you gave a lot of tips about what to do. do you yeah. Have any pitfalls that you can avoid? What not to do? Mm. Um, it, so I think it depends on the kind of show you're doing. I Don't think. overwhelm yourself. Yep. Yeah. Make it easy. Yes. So one, make it easy from the gate and let yourself level up yes. versus falling apart. Grow. Yeah. Grow with it. Don't start off tall and fall down. Right. Um, when, when the or if you do, you forgive yourself right. yeah. and get back it's at okay it. Right? Yeah. 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 That is absolutely true. We've had falls and we've gotten back together mm -hmm. for real, for real. Um, for when it comes to feedback, because you've got to get feedback, be open to it, and it might come in ways that you did not expect it to come. It might come from your partner, who's just like, you don't be home. Like, and, you, and it's like, this hasn't, isn't about the podcast, but what it's about is scheduling the podcast. Does that make sense? Um, it might be from your friends, who are like, you don't communicate the things that we're doing when we're having a guest or something like that. Okay, that's about me being a better communicator this way. Or from listeners who are saying, you know, you guys might be muffled or talking over each other or things like that. Be clearer that way. So it can come in a lot of different directions because this is affecting every part every part of your life, right? So take that feedback well. Yeah. Yeah. Any other pitfalls? Um, Just be open to change. Yeah. Because things are going to yeah. change constantly. And get your ego all the way out of the way. Yeah. You know, it's so interesting to kind of now be like, kind of be like semi Seattle famous, but not famous at all. Because right. like, my point is. We're not, and so it's that thing too. Where like you know, you might walk into a space like this and be like, "Oh, everyone here is gonna know that we're hell." No, they're not. People don't know anyone's faces for podcasting. Mm -hmm. There's, you're, it's a really hard space to have an ego. It's just your voice. 
which is kind of cool because then you're just talking and it's relaxed. Nobody knows or puts a value to your appearance, which is really nice too. So that's cool. <laughs> we we look. I don't even want to say how we look. Sometimes. How far in advance do you put content plans for your show and also for your social media? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I think it depends. For my segment, I have to, since I do events, I have to plan a month in advance. I have to start looking at four events a month in advance. Um, for posting on social, it can be day of. Um, it doesn't have yeah. to really mm -hmm. be as planned out as yeah. my segment in particular. And I feel like also, I feel like for social, like there might just be, I think there's no planning in that, on my part at mm -hmm. least. Um, because I'm really just trying to engage the audience. So if I see something that's funny, I'm gonna post it, right. um, you know, or repost it, or whatever the case may be. Um, as far as my part of the segment, I mean, it. I, I think it really just works on. Like I'm so big into just being it being like a natural thing. Like I have a job that I go to, you know, every next, forty hours. Like forty hours. If not more. Mm -hmm. So like I, in me planning what I'm going to talk about, I start thinking about, okay, what's resonating with me right now? Mm -hmm. what, what would I maybe want to talk about? But realistically, it might be the day of that we're, that we're taping. That, but I, but it's... You have a more it, fluid segment. Exactly. Right. So it really is just, to, it depends on what your, what your thing is. Mm -hmm. Do you need to get um, Cost, facts? Time. Do you need to get facts? Yeah. Do you need to do research? Mm -hmm. Or is it something that you just feel so strongly about that you can talk passionately about that thing? Mm -hmm. And then for interviews, I think that, so for me, I, I would love to say I start a month early. There are times where I have had a guest a month in advance. There are other times where I'm like a week up before trying to figure somebody out. I can tell you when it comes to like news radio, they sometimes book a person two days ahead of time, right? Like somebody, something like a daily show, like the record might not be looking for someone for Thursday show until Monday. You know what I mean? And so it can be a quick turnaround. I think the thing that the nice thing to think about in terms of guests is to not get your like not get your heart into something too quickly, right? Like Elena and Jasmine can come up with what they want to do, and it is done. Period. It's their segments. Where for me, when it comes to like, I can say I want to interview Michelle Obama. You know what I mean? But like, if she doesn't call me back, I have to have a plan B. You know, and then probably a plan C. And I can't be like super sad, mad that I that I came up with all these questions and she didn't call me back. My mom the other day, by the way, told me to, she told me to text Michelle. <laughs> okay, one more question. On the topic of guests, do you have to pay guests? No. Okay. Yeah. 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 No. So in regular radio, they don't either, though. Oh, okay. Right, so in regular radio, it's because it's, you know, it's, um... It's promotion, self-promotion, and you're just, you're really getting to say your word, and we don't make money either. But, what, so, like, but it's journalism. That's yeah, yeah, called. okay. The, um, under the umbrella of journalism, you're sitting, you're, you're the in-between of a message, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you're not, you're not, uh co-signing for this person. In some ways you are because you brought them on obviously, but they, if they want to promote themselves, they should come on the yeah. show. If they don't we want to- We give them snacks and drinks though. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. Like that's right. um, now how much time do you put into your show? Ooh, like, that's a good question. Like a month probably? Mm -hmm. Or a week? I probably put in like 10 hours a month. Mm. Yeah, I would say probably about the same. I mean, it depends on how you look at the, the time that you're putting in. Um, is scrolling through Instagram some of your time? Absolutely, yeah. right? Yeah. So, yeah. like, if I consider that, I probably put in a lot of time. But in terms of actually recording, um, you know, it, it's, it's not that much, honestly. Yeah. I put in probably a good hour prior to actual recording time. Yeah. And but and so but really that breakdown too is that's because all of our roles are divided between three people, mm -hmm. you know, and we have a manager who probably puts in ten hours a month on us. And we have someone else that that puts does the, the episode, yeah. yeah, does the production part of it, which is a blessing. So probably mm -hmm. like um, probably between sixty and hundred hours go into an episode, but they're not just from us individually. But you know, but that's also, our, but that's also because, or sorry, that's a month is what I'm saying, the two. You know, because we do ours one recording a month that breaks down. Mm -hmm. Whereas if this person, I bet you the average person puts 10 hours per week into their stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted to say really quickly though about paying, I, I, that you do want to pay people for other work though. Yes. Right? So that's another big thing. You need to brand yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry we have, didn't really get into that in terms of mm -hmm. our own logo, that kind of thing. My husband's the artist that did our, our logo here. And um, he did it for free and I'm grateful for that. But like people pay for this kind of stuff and you mm -hmm. should Absolutely. pay somebody for this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And you can get feedback even that way. We have a really good friend who owns uh, Seattle Sorbets and they're working on a new logo and the other day I got to like, 
pick, uh, you know, they had like, like 10 different logos to choose from and I got to like pick my, you know, one through 10 in order. So you can do that with friends, you know, have somebody, you know, brainstorm with the graphic designer what you want that way, pay them their money, mm -hmm. ask your people which one's your favorite, get feedback that direction. But um, we pay for every, every time we have imaging, because that's not something that we know how to do, we pay somebody else for that. Mm -hmm. Anytime that we put on any kind of event, we pay people for that. Equ right. you know, and we want to pay people equitably too. So mm -hmm. if, it, uh, if a person sounds like they're asking a little bit much, um, you are getting something out of this. You know what I mean? And, if, and that's just it. You can't be mad at someone else for their rates. Does that make sense? Like nobody gets mad at McDonald's for like charging, what, like $8 for a burger nowadays. <laughs> I mean, they're mad. I am mad. <laughs> The question was, how long did it take us to make the make which one? What part? The whole podcast. Oh, the whole podcast. Oh, once we, I feel like once we got started on really like the idea forming and it actually coming out, I came up with this idea when I was on my honeymoon. It was like right around your birthday, actually, in 2016, so February of 16, and then um, our show launched in May uh, in, of 2016. So from that moment, we like came up with the idea to putting all the things in order to really feel confident launching. Logo, imaging, posters, blah, 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 blah. Um, name of the show, segments portioned out, when we're going to record, how we're going to record, um, and then really doing it, we did three months. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for asking. We are at time. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, so you guys so much for being here. Yeah.